Another Wacky Wednesday with Sassy Crystal here on Transcribers. And this week's topic is trans people in the media. <coughs> Excuse me. So, first question is, how do you feel about the way the media and entertainment industries portray trans people? Um, I really don't think that they do. Um, there's been some uh, shows that I've seen, some movies that are available that most people know about. Um, that have been, I think, fairly positive, um, but for the most part, I don't, you know, you don't see a lot of trans people in the entertainment industry. Uh, let's see, do you think trans people are generally portrayed in a positive light or negative? Um, the ones that I have seen, um, have been positive. Um, Ren and I watched a couple of episodes of, um, Trans Generation, I think it was, and it was done in a positive light, um, so, and then, you know, there's the, some of the movies that I feel were fairly positive, I, and I've not seen anything really negative. Do you think these portrayals are based on facts and true information, or based solely on cliched and ignorance-based stereotypes? The, again, the ones I've seen were based on personal opinion, like transgeneration, it was, you know, they're following four students in college going through their, their transition, you know, so it was based on the facts that they had and, you know, their opinion, um, the movies and other stuff that I've seen, it was, it seemed to be based on facts and information and it wasn't just, um, ignorance spewing out of people's mouths, so that was, it was good. I try to avoid the negative stuff if at all positive, if at all possible. Um, who, if anyone, do you feel has portrayed trans people positively or negatively? Um, well, let's see. There's, well, Chastity Bono coming out as trans can be seen as positive. Um, there's just, there's been some that I think that they are coming, them coming out has been a positive thing. I don't really feel that there's been a lot of negative when people have been portraying it negatively. I don't, I haven't seen anything like that. Since TV shows, news, special documentaries, and internet sites have recently begun including and exploring more trans issues, what kind of things would you like to see addressed in these media? Um, I think mainly, uh, more. Um, mainly so that we can help inform people and educate them as to the truth behind the myth, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, I, I just think that it needs to be more honesty and more information out there. So that's one thing that I'm glad about YouTube it, is it really gets a lot of honest information out there, which is really helpful. Um, let's see, do you feel that the internet has helped portray trans people in positive, more positively or negatively? Um, I really think that depends on where you go. Um, um, for instance, here on YouTube, there are tons and tons of positives. Um, I have come across some negative, even with some of the trans guys, um, that have just really not done a, a positive, haven't portrayed a positive image for trans people, I've got to say. I was not real happy to find them. Um, 
so that's the only negative that I can think of is there has been a few on, on YouTube that I found that some of the trans guys were they had a very bad attitude um, so that for 99% of it I think that the internet has helped portray people in a positive light because people are wanting to get the the right information out there. They're wanting to get the helpful information and they're wanting to help educate, which I think is the important thing. So, um, it's going to be a short video this week, guys, because I really am sorry. I don't have a whole lot to say. So, I hope everybody has a really good week and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.